I, I went into his office a couple times, and and uh, then he would come down to the set quite often. But where I'd mostly run into him was at lunchtime. Uh, we played ping pong together at lunch, <laughs> That's a lot, a lot of times. And, and so uh, I'd go by, I'd eat lunch, and then I'd go by, and he always sat in this corner looking out. And then I'd wave at him. He'd wave, and <laughs> he'd, uh, he'd be sitting with the guys, and he'd a couple couple seconds later, you know. He'd, and I kind of go, guys, whatever, and he'd get up and he'd come out and we'd play ping pong for about <laughs> 10, 15 minutes. And we did that probably two, three times a week, I guess, when I was there. So did you beat him or? Uh... I was pretty, I got pretty good, <laughs> yeah. I got pretty good. Actually, there was a guy in that show who was a, a very good ping pong player. It was Stan, and, and we played a lot, too. But we, he, I, we, I don't remember any protocol uh, at the time. Okay, well, let's go to uh, Escape from New York for a minute. When you, when you did that movie, was that a film that... Some people advise you against doing it because it was kind of a departure from, no, from some uh, stuff? No, I think everybody else that was involved in doing the movie advised John Carpenter against hiring me. Wow. That, that was what the deal was. Uh, John couldn't, I'd done Elvis with John. John uh, wanted me to do Escape from New York. He, 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 he picked me to play the part, as it were. And the studio just said, you know, I don't get that, John. It doesn't make sense. And John fought for me to do the movie. And, uh, he went out, and I did the movie, and uh, I, I actually had done some television things. I think that uh, could Did, show Deadly Tower. And yeah, and could show people that there was there was a, a range ability to play uh, something like Snake Plissken. What we did was we just took it to the nth degree, which I think was much farther than most people thought it was going to be taken. Uh, we made the character very socially unredeemed, <laughs> and uh, that scared people for a while. When we spoke on executive decision, your hair was longer and you had the stubble because you were shooting, uh, yes. shooting this movie. I'm just curious, when you, when you let your hair grow longer like that and you have the rougher look, do you notice a difference in the way people react to you when you walk down the street? Gee, I don't know. I never thought of that. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I see people <laughs> react to me at all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe so. You know, I love the L.A. Coliseum uh, uh, scenes. Um, a lot of great extras dressed pretty rough there. Uh, it actually didn't look that much different than an L.A. Raiders game, but when, when people walked in, uh, visitors to the set, did you notice uh, a difference on their expressions? Was it, was it kind of a... Well, what was fun about doing the movie was uh, anybody who was involved in doing this movie, whether it was an extra, an actor, crew member, they were all very happy to be on the movie. They were proud to be a part of what they felt would be another cult movie. They all liked Escape. And uh, they all have a tremendous amount of respect for Snake Plissken. And when I'd walk on the set with the wardrobe and the eye patch, I could see it in their eyes. they they go, God, man, this guy's a bad boy. <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they, they don't look at you very long. You know, they, you know, if I, and if you, if he, he says an aura about that character that just sends people away, sends them turning. And uh, that's what was fun about the end of the movie, turning to the audience. And a very quick question, the eye patch, how big a souvenir was that uh, in demand from people? It was big. I, I didn't have any. I forgot them. And I, I don't know, Dennis probably has some of those eye patches. I, I, unfortunately, I don't pay any attention to stuff like that. Otherwise, I'd be a, a wealthy man with what I could have <laughs> saved and sold and <laughs> stuck in a museum. Uh, yeah, people like those eye patches. <laughs> Jay Leno's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. Thanks, Kurt. Okay. Always a pleasure talking with you.